Greetings, Earth enthusiasts. If you ever wondered about the incredible perspectives our planet has to offer from high above here in the right place, I am Dr. Clive Kutsi, and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this captivating journey into the world of remote sensing. Welcome. And please remember to like, subscribe to, and share this video. Thank you. In our previous video tutorial, we explored the option of creating a thumbnail uh, for our nighttime light uh, data set. Um, and uh, the thumbnail was then embedded in our map, giving us a nice visualization, call it a time lapse visualization of the nighttime light change per location in our region of interest. But as you could see, it's not that visually appealing. And it's quite small, so one struggles to, you know, to, 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 to clearly see what's going on there. And it's also very difficult to export. So in this particular video tutorial, we're going to create a video of our um, nighttime lights, uh, similar to the thumbnail. But in this case, we're going to export the video. And then let's see what, what, what happens then and how that looks. Okay, so let's go. So we're going to go to our trusty Earth engine. We're going to go to our platform code editor as per normal. Okay, and then we get to our um, scripts panel and we scroll down until we find our saved project. Okay, so we left click on our save, on our save uh, project and it will open the script uh, where we sort of left off. Remember, as I always keep on repeating, you run and you save, you run and you save as a matter of, of urgency, of, as a matter of course, just to make sure. Don't want to do all the work and then just to, you know, to find errors. Okay. So this is what we've left off or in the previous tutorial, and this is where we're going to start in our current tutorial. Okay. So the idea is to create a video similar to the thumbnail, but obviously it looks a bit later, but more appealing and that we can export and use in uh, other software. Okay. So let's get going. So first of all, we can, we're going to use our VS data set. Okay, the one that we've been playing for, we're going to clip it for our region of interest as per normal, and we're going to select the average radiation um, um, band. If it's got more than one band, um, make sure you choose the correct band. I give it a name, animation VS. Okay, and that's up to you. I'm not doing the DMSP one, but you can do that um, in, if you want to. Then I'm creating my time structure or my video structure, um, um, which basically tells um, the code editor and I'm working with monthly images. So, and it's going to be over a number of years. Okay, so this is where I structure my my video. Okay, so if you had month daily data, you will put in the day. If it's only for for a couple of months, you'll put in months there. Otherwise, that becomes um, standard year, and that if it's minutes per day, between minutes and day, if it's weeks per month, if it's weeks a month, etc. So this is where you structure the um, your your time dimension of your video or your data. Okay, we're giving it a name um, DOI, which basically day of year. I could call it month of year. That's totally up to you, and you return that in terms of. Um, the, the, the image that we want to create. Now we're going to specify um, the duration, um, the start point and the end point of our video. Okay, remember, I'm used starting it from 2018. And the reason why I'm starting it from 2018 is purely because of size constraints. Um, if I were to um, say 2012 here uh, or 2013, it most probably will give me an error uh, in that I will exceed the size uh, allowable to be exported. Uh, remember, there are size constraints with, with, with the engine. You cannot just, uh, you know, create massive uh, images or videos. Okay, so uh, in my case, I most probably will have to create two videos, one from 2012 to 2018. And then obviously one from 2018 to 2013. And then I can just merge those two videos in my software. Okay, so just bear that in mind that uh, you may have to, uh, if you have a long period of time or, multi or, or number of images, you may have to do them in, in pieces. Okay, 
So um, that's what we're creating there. Um, and then, as I said, um, I'm instructing them to use my sum um, uh, statistic. Uh, as you can see with our um, uh, thumbnail, have, using the mean or the median, uh, it's a little bit tricky. It doesn't really show that uh, effectively. So let's try the sum. It should give much more brighter um, uh, colors because you know it's a, it's going to be it's it's a much bigger number. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, there's my visualization parameter, same as always, one and two hundred, and uh, my palette color palette, um, and then. I'm going to clip it to my rectangle. Now, this is quite important, this piece of code here, in that I'm not using my region of interest to, 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 uh, to display it, uh, in my video. I'm actually using my rectangle. And the reason why I'm doing is that is because it, it uh, creates its own um, coordinate reference system. If I were to use my region of interest and it's not as the coordinate reference system that the Earth engine uses, it will give me an error. Okay, so I prefer to use um, the built-in function in Google Earth and that gives me a rectangle. Now, remember, I've already created this rectangle, so um, um, it's already specified. And if I go to the thumbnail where I've created it, there it sits. Okay, so it's important um, to create that rectangle. Remember, in the previous video, I went into detail how to create a rectangle, how to, where to get the coordinates, etc., etc. But this is quite important. If you do, if you miss this step, the video won't work. You'll get an error. Okay, so please make sure that that your rectangle or your your variable for your video is clearly specified in this format, which is your coordinates, and then um, you're using the built-in uh, coordinate reference system, which we will then specify here as this um, 3857. Three, okay. So this is in meters, it's not in degrees. Please make sure that you use in your specific area your coordinate reference system because it may be different to my coordinate reference system but yeah please make sure that um, uh, you specify your um, region and you specify your coordinate reference system okay so although my image will only display for my region of interest the video will will be displayed for the the uh, re for the for that rectangular um, geometry okay so that's important um, then your times per frame, I'm leaving it 0 0.2, but you can make it again any other thing. So that will be uh, one video every five or one image every five seconds. Yeah, that seems a little bit much. Let's make it 1.5, for example. Okay. Then I'm creating a, 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 a URL for it, and that URL, once you run it, you will see that it will be located in your console at the bottom. There's your URL that we're going to create. And then we're going to export this video. Nice. Um, we're going to export it. What are we going to export? We're going to export the video, which is that um, uh, uh, image um, that we've created. Um, and we've merged it with our time, you know, um, over that specific time period. Um, and we give it a name. Um, again, it's up and our dimensions in 720. Let's make that also 0 0.5. We give it uh, we export folder and our region of interest. Okay, so I've specified the piece of code. I'm happy with my, my code. Remember, there's certain things that you can play around with, like your min and maximum, um, like your um, statistic. Uh, your reducer, you can play around with the names, the dimensions, and so forth, and so forth. So the stuff in blue you can play around with. And also, obviously, uh, play around with the colors to make it visually more appealing. Then you simply just click Run. Okay. And while we're waiting for, the, for all these things to, to, to um, display and all our tasks to be uh, listed, um, like they are now, the 
video option, this export video um, should, there we go, it should become available in our task, there it sits, and we can simply just click on run, remember why it's important not to include um, spaces, because otherwise you won't be able to export it, okay, so we're going to click run, I'm not going to click run because I've already um, done that, so I'll just cancel it, but if you've run it, I've run it previously, there it sits in blue, it's meaning it's, I've submitted it, and it's already um, uploaded it, that's why it's in blue, and it took 10 minutes, okay, so just remember, because you can play around with the size, but in my case, 2018 seems to be the maximum um, duration, okay, so I go into my folder in Google Drive, and there she sits, the, the video, okay, so I can simply click on download, and it will download, okay, in my case, I've downloaded to my um, desktop, and there it sits, it's got its name, the name that you've given it, okay, and it started running at the bottom, it will take five minutes, five minutes, 40 seconds for this video, and you'll see the animation will take place, and it will display um, the lights, uh, locations with lights, and how that lights have changed over the period 2018 to 2023. And remember, each uh, image will now be displayed consecutively. Let's quickly just move it a little bit forward. Um, and it will continue. You'll see if you concentrate on certain areas, you'll definitely see some of these areas changing. Okay. Um, Let's see, for, you see, there we go, let's bring it a little bit back, you see there, if you, if you look at this area here, as it goes along, you'll see all of a sudden, there we go, slowly but surely certain areas will start appearing, um, and disappearing, and yeah, so you'll definitely see, um, you can identify locations, uh, you see there's a lot of locations now that the um, you know, with, with lights, and now it disappeared as well, so yeah, so it's interesting stuff, um, and you can play around, as I said, with the visualization parameters, and all these things, to make, you know, these, these uh, maps a, a, a little bit more appealing, these videos a little bit more appealing, but yeah, we saved it now, um, so it's available for future use, um, um, and as I said, I will now just merge the two videos, and then create one singular video. Okay, so that is creating a nice vis nice video um, from our images, um, and it displays it um, the location, the region of interest in a time-lapse format. Yeah, so that's very nice. I think it's quite exciting. Um, and so we've done, we've, 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 we've gotten quite, quite far with, um, with this nighttime lights data set, and there's, remember, this is still not the end, there's still much we can do in just in uh, in this data set, but in the Earth engine in general. So thanks for watching. Uh, much appreciated. Remember to like and subscribe and to share and all those fancy things. I'm already busy with uh, a whole lot of new videos and will be uploaded in due, due time. Thanks for staying tuned uh, in our journey of remote sensing. I'll see you on the other side.